I am hearing so many awesome things about Starlight, and especially from all the young ambassadors. Tell me about what you do with it. Okay, I am, um, I mean, like, whenever there's any events or anything going on, I'm always there, and I just, I love, like, I recently did face paint, I know I've been talking about, and it's just, like, when you see these kids, when they smile, their smile lights up the whole world. I mean, it's all, it's, it means the world to them that we're here and supporting them, and we are all about making their life and their health just better, and we have all these experts that come in, and we join together to make it all wonderful for them, and it's all about them. It really is, so when they smile, when they're happy, when you just see them just relax, and then take it all in and enjoy it's the world and you can't really describe how it feels you just oh my gosh she just puts a smile on your face that doesn't go away for years and years and it's amazing it really is well we're asking everyone because we want to know if you could have one day to do whatever you want it with like a couple of the kids what would you want to do wow oh my gosh one day to do whatever i want oh my gosh i guess take over disneyland and just have no lines and just walk around with these kids and just say, this is, yes, this is amazing. Can I just say, you're the third person to say Disneyland. Really? I that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, well, okay, fine. Luthmans think alike, I guess. I also heard that he has not been to a concert ever. Have you? I have. I have. Um, let's see, I went to the Super Bowl to see Florence and the Machine with my friends, and that was pretty spunkalicious. I mean, I love concerts. I don't get to go to very many. I know it's really depressing, but I see them on TV. But whenever I do get to go to them, it's rock and roll, all my friends, yes. I love concerts. So it seems like being so young and working and being a big part of you know an organization like this, you must come across a lot of people that face adversity in situations like that. And you clearly are taking on a really important role. So people that maybe don't have the resources to go to places like this, what advice would you give them? Wow. Um, just really like in your community and wherever you're at, try and help out as much as you can. And I mean, the littlest of kindness can make someone's day or lifetime, you know, just like really try and go that even like the right path is so like, what's the right path, but just really put on a smile and put on a smile for everyone and try and brighten someone day, give a compliment, give open a door, anything you can to just contribute and make this world that we live in a better place. Just out of curiosity, I know that they call it whenever you get to work on a cool event, the celebrity best friend or something like that. When you do that, how do you even go about getting approached? Do they just call you one day and they're like, come do a really fun, awesome thing? Yeah, we just, we get an email and just like, would you like to come? We're like, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Let's have fun. Let's do this thing. I mean, yeah, just like whenever there's anything going on, they're like, would you like to participate? Would you please come and stuff? And like, yes, 100%. You got it, man. Well, have fun tonight. Thank you very much. Nice awesome. Thank you. you are all so well spoken, all of you guys. Oh, uh, it's really good to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Bye.